Oh yeah, this thing from IGN, this was interesting. Kind of in the same vein of the last story we talked about with Strauss Zelnick. It comes off of the same earnings call uh, that they did. And basically he said that he will happily take delays over flops any day. Um, which came as they pushed back uh, the anticipated releases of upcoming games. And then they also said that they were lowering expectations for revenue a little bit. So previously, Take-Two expected between $5.73 and $5.83 billion uh, in terms of revenue, whereas now they're lowering it to between $5.41 and $5.51. Um, the company is blaming lowered expectations in its mobile business and shifts in the upcoming release schedule for the reduced projections. Just uh, basically they're delaying games and mobile games are not generating as much money as they thought they were. It's, and it, to be fair, it's also not just Rockstar stuff. So don't just immediately think GTA 6. It's also, they have a ton of other stuff. Many of the games coming from recently acquired Zynga. In fact, 38 of the 87 games in development at Take-Two are mobile titles. And another sign that the publishing giant is pushing harder into its mobile future. The rest of the lineup is as follows. That's insane. They have... 87 games in development. 87. That's wild. That's ridiculous. That's just insane. Like, you look at a huge company like even Activision Blizzard and you think, like, okay, one or two games maybe at a time. They're they're juggling. Maybe. But 87. 38 of them are mobile games. That's ridiculous. So yeah, this is just, this is crazy. Uh, it, 38 of them being mobile games. It's ridiculous. 24 are immersive core games, 10 are indie games, 28 mobile games, seven mid core games, and eight iterations of previously released titles or remakes and remasters, that type of thing. I don't even know. I don't even know, man. We'll see. But it, it just goes to show you how much stuff a big well-managed company can have going at once this is why take two is such a highly sought after company um and is so respected in the industry because they just do crazy well and bear in mind these 87 games all of those are set to release by the end of the fiscal year 2025 i don't think xbox somebody was saying oh uh, uh i think xbox is going to be going after take two next i don't think so i don't think take two could be bought out i don't think they'd do it but who knows who knows uh, but that is absolutely crazy 87 games in three years 87 a lot of mobile games to be completely fair but still